today we will discuss appointment of directors qualifications of directors and when we will discuss these two topic there will come din director identification number so what is director identification number how a person can get director identification number and some other provisions related to din bhi bol sakte ho isko aap din bhi bol sakte ho aap isko director identification number bhi seedha bol sakte ho it's on your convenience okay so these three things uh, we would cover under this lecture the first one is the appointment of the director <clears throat> because in last class we discussed that who is a director <clears throat> and the person who is appointed by the board of director is a director as per section 234 and then we discussed the person is director who do you know take the decision who work on behalf of the company because company as an artificial person intangible person does not have mind and body and cannot do and then in section 149 there is the requirement of the minimum number of director and maximum number of the director a director individually is known as director and collectively known as the board of director and it is mandatory to have the board of director as per section 149 subsection 1 otherwise there are the consequences under section 172 and so naturally it became very interesting and important to know that how the appointment of the directors when the company is registered so we read that in memorandum mein to director ka naam to jo hai wahan pe likhna hota hai if you remember a uh, memorandum mein nahi but section 7 mein section 7 mein aapka directors ki detail etc you have to give it okay i think you are remembering those things section 7 sub section 1 mein aapko yaad ho to details aur sari cheeze so appointment of directors and the provision related to appointment of director under section 152 of the companies act where no provision is made in the articles of a company for the appointment of the first director the subscriber of the memorandum who are individually shall be deemed to be the first director of company until the director are duly appointed and in case of one person company the individual member shall be deemed to be its first director this is section 151 okay there is another question sometimes student ask that sir can a company be a director no only natural person can be a director because the purpose of appointing the director is that company cannot take its decision because company does not have mind and so the natural persons can be act as an agent is known as director okay the <coughs> section 151 is the deeming provision suppose in the articles of association there is no name of the uh, appointment of the first director then the subscriber the persons who subscribed at the formation of the company it's not the member member may be you know after all after that also a person can get member section 255 who can be member and member and shareholders are different shareholder is possible only when the company have share capital it's not necessary that all company or a company must have the share capital okay so subscriber subscriber mean the person who subscribed the memorandum and articles the subscriber shall be deemed to be first director shall be deemed to be deemed to be means actually they are not but it is through the legal fiction because that section 149 has to be done the company when come into the existence must have some person through it it can act okay okay now section 152 sub section 
that save as otherwise expressly provided in this act every director shall be appointed by the company in general meeting. So, where a person would be appointed? The person would be appointed after this first director where the name of the directors are not there. In that case, otherwise the director would be appointed in the general meeting. The resolution has to be moved and that resolution then has to be you know passed. Here there is one thing and uh, that is the procedural thing section 160. Two, section 162 says that the appointment of director be voted individually. That if a person is appointed as a director, his resolution has to put individually, not two directors resolution at the same time. And it, this is only with the purpose that may be, you know, in the general meeting people were in favor of one person, not in favor of two persons. So, collectively putting them would lead to miscarriage of justice. So, section 162 also you have to read that at a general meeting of the company a motion for appointment of two or more director person as a director of the company by single resolution shall not be moved. Okay? And clause 2 says that a resolution moved in contravention of section uh, subsection 1 shall be void whether or not any objection has been uh, was taken or it was moved. Okay? So, individually with respect to the appointment of a person as the director a motion has to be done through the resolution it has to be passed. Now, much detail in that much detail I am not going. Uh, second, third clause and that is very important as I said that from the appointment of the director the director identification number will come. No person shall be appointed. No person shall be appointed. That means it is mandatory. It is mandatory. As a director, unless he has been allotted the director identification number under section 154 or any other number as may be prescribed under section 153. That means without the director identification number, a person cannot be appointed. Is that person's the resolution cannot be moved? Okay, and uh, you know that director identification number and other number. So these two things. Here, first we discussed quickly that what is director identification. Quickly means quickly, but it will take twenty minutes. See the director identification number is the unique number like we have the Aadhaar number. Okay? First thing, as name suggests identification, director and number, this is the combination of three. That means basically a unique number is given to every person who wanted to act as a director in the company. Then what is the purpose? What is the need? The need is that earlier persons used to be director in different companies. And so, the very purpose would be defeated because you just to satisfy you, your ego, you are director in different companies, but you are not attending the meeting, you are not giving your best because you are already engaged. Okay? And so, now there is cap also that in how many companies a person can be director? We all are human being, we have the limitations. We are not like the God can be at every place. And so, there are some limitations on the persons to be director. When you read section 165, the number of directorship, no person after the commencement of this act shall hold office as a director, including any alternate directorship, including alternate directorship in more than 20 companies at the same time. So, at the same time more than 20 company cannot be a person be director. Now, this is what is this alternate directorship. 
when you read section 161 subsection 2 you will find about the alternate directorship that alternate director for a director during his absence for period not less than three months if a person acted in the absence if some other person acted then he is the alternate director so including alternate director a person cannot be director in more than 20 companies and there also in the proviso it is further specified that the maximum number of public company which shall be appointed he shall not be uh, uh, exceed 10 so maximum can be 10 in 10 companies a person be acted as a director in public company and in totality in 20 ok and then the explanation also defined that for limit of public companies in which the person can be appointed the director the private company that are either holding or the subsidiary of the public company shall also be included ok and so how to keep check on the persons so that they will not acted as a director more than this limit how to make the compliance of section 165 and for that the idea was that give them a unique identification number like Aadhaar a person will get only one number he cannot get two number and with that number attached all the information how because keep it mandatory for a persons to be director section 152 subsection 3 saying that director identification number is essential so when you want to be appointed as a director your number will attach and then whole data will be before the registrar that this person is director in this company this company and from where it can be calculated so with this idea with this purpose this director identification number has been introduced it's very new concept and many times question asked from this particular point okay now the another word use here or any other number so what is that any other number also first thing is that yes we got that what is director identification number what is its purpose but how to get director identification number suppose any of you also wanted to act as a director section 153 of the company that says that for any person who intended to become director apply for the allotment of director identification number to the central government central government means department of central government it is registrar of the companies pe registrar of the companies mein you have to apply with necessary document and fee ok section 153 and that is the application procedure then in section 153 proviso that provided that central government may prescribe any identification number which shall be treated as director identification number for purpose of this act and in case any individual hold or acquire such identification number the requirement of this section shall not apply or apply in such manner as may be prescribed so this is the number that government may give you know a particular number so that also acted like a director identification number so in section 152 subsection 3 this is talking about this particular thing now suppose you have applied document you have attached fee you have paid the forum prescribed forum you have applied before the government registrar of the company then section 154 says that within one month from the receipt of application under section 153 this is the mandatory that within month shall allot director identification number so this period is just to make the business and business acti activities very you can say vibrant and easing the business norms so it may be in 10 days 5 days etc now the next is 
that 155 that the prohibition to obtain more than one director identification number. Because in the beginning I have said that this identification number would be unique otherwise it would not serve the purpose. If the same number is attached to the two persons or two person have the same number or one person has two number then it would not serve the purpose and so there is the prohibition. It is unique like our phone number it is unique, I, our biometric it is unique, our retinal impressions and different other things like our password, OTP etcetera. Okay? So, no individual who has already been allotted DIN under section 154 shall apply to obtain possess another identification number. That means it is mandatory. But what if some person has deliberately, intentionally or maybe you know inadvertently has applied, what is the consequence? Because what the John Austin says that law is the command of sovereign, the people has to obey it because there are the fear of sanctions. So, the mandatory is that, but there must be some consequence otherwise it is observance would not be in that way and section 159 is talking about that penalty that if a person apply for more than or obtain applications pe bhi aapka offense uh, penalty create ho gayi ya aapne apply karke aapko allot ho gaya us pe bhi ROC ki to jumedari hai hi that he has to take care that the same person would not get but the law is imposing even on the persons also this you know duty that not to obtain or apply for another identification number if you have already one identification number. Section 159 that penalty that may extend to 50,000 rupees and where the default is continuing here the default continuing ka to baat hai nahi. So, in case default is continuing further penalty which may extend to 500 rupees for each days after the first during which the default continues. Then the director to intimate director identification number, every existing director transitional phase within one month from the receipt of the director identification number from the central government in intimate their director uh, you know their DIN to the company or all companies where he is director. So, now why transitional I have said because now it is mandatory under section 152 subsection 3 ki bina DIN ke to aap bani nahi sakte. But this provision is applied where the person is already director because there was no requirement of director uh, DIN number. Now, after getting the DIN number within month you have to intimate to the company or all the companies in which a person is acting as a director. Okay? Then section 157 that the company has to inform director identification number to the registrar also. Otherwise, how the registrar will keep the record or you know keep the check on it. So, when a person is appointed as a director it has to be intimated that this person is appointed and this is the DIN number. Section 157 subsection 1 that every company shall within 15 days of receipt of intimation under section 156 furnish the director identification number of whole director to the registrar or any other persons or official as may be specified. And then there are the penal action against the company, the punishment is also against the company if they are failed to. So, that subsection 2 also you can read. Sub section 155, 156 for both there is the penalty under section 159. Then while you are getting the director identification number, suppose you have disclosed wrong information or something else your name is Vivek, you have given the document of Abhishek etcetera. So, that section 159 that every person or company while furnishing any written 
information or particular as are required to be furnished under this act shall maintain the director identification number in such return information or particular such return or so this this is not actually sorry section 158 is with respect to the uh, with company that they the company they have the liability to make this thing but think about it that if a person has given the wrong information so how that has to be dealt with and for that section 447 that can be used in that sense now come to the section 153 uh, sorry 152 because this tin arises from section 152 subsection 3 now take section 152 subsection 4 that every person proposed to appointed as a director in the company in general meeting or otherwise self furnish his director identification number or other number as may be specified and a declaration that he is not disqualified to become the director under this act. He is not disqualified. That means what are the disqualification? If the person is not knowing that these are the disqualification, then how he can make the statement? Okay? And for that, we have to see section 165, the disqualification. The person in itself is the sound mind, undischarged, insolvent, etc. Section 154 talk about disqualification for appointment of director. And if you make these, because it is, you know, in the negative sense, if you turn it into the positive, it would be even, you know, giving the sense of qualification also, that a person must be solvent, a person must be of unsound mind, etc. So, here the disqualification for the appointment of, of a director, a person shall not be eligible for appointment of a director if he is unsound mind and stands so declared by the competent court. If he is an undischarged insolvent, he has applied and adjudicated as insolvent and his application is pending, he has been convicted by the court of any offence whether involving moral turpitude or otherwise and sentence in respect there to imprisonment for not less than six months and the period of five years has not elapsed from the date of expiry of the sentence. Very strict disqualifications are there. It is not about the, uh, you know, the offence of moral turpitude. This word moral turpitude you will find in different statute. So, this moral turpitude is like, you know, uh, rape, sexual harassment, etc. So, these moral turpitude, uh, you know, the traffic light, etc., would not cover under the moral turpitude. Okay? Then, in section, uh, you know, other uh, uh, quali disqualification, you please go through it, it is very bulky sections. So, these disqualifications is talking here in section 154, 152, subsection, uh, you know, 4. Then the next section 152 subsection 5 that a person appointed as a director shall not act as a director unless he give the consent to hold the office and such consent has been filed within the registrar within 30 days for the appointment in such manner as may be prescribed. Now what is the requirement of it? Because being a director there are many liabilities if the prospectus is issued and then you are saying that sir, I to consent to not be a director, I not to be a director. I my name. Okay. And so, with that, this consent would be, you know, in that case, acted as that you took this responsibility voluntarily and then you have to act it, you know, according to the company's law, otherwise there are the consequences. Okay. Then, <coughs> subsection 6, also you uh, please go through it, subsection 6, 7, etc. Okay. So, this is about the appointment of the director and with that we also discuss the director identification number and definitely 
the qualifications not the qualification, but the disqualification that can be turned into the qualification if you use that you know because the whole section caused in negative language. So, you can convert it into the positive language. So, with this uh, uh, you know I stop here because uh, uh, in our syllabus we are not supposed to discuss resignations and all other things. Uh, the only things now left is very very conceptual and that is the position of the director vis a vis the company and with position the duties and with duties the liability. So, these three issues now remain I stop here uh, and uh, uh, with this uh, you know please please uh, uh, you know go through these sub sections as I have told you uh, you will find many interesting things. And with this I stop here today.